All right guys, so I got a different type of video today. Of course, last time it was a different video because it was an unboxing, but not only is this an unboxing, but this is an unboxing of a product that isn't necessarily camera or gear related. It's just kind of something I would use in my free time, like when I'm traveling and stuff. So I kind of wanted to make a video on it just to kind of display it, but this is like a special version of what I already have. This is a limited edition piece. It's a Post Malone backbone. This is a uh, number 138 out of 500. I saw it and I was like, this is just like a cool piece to have, not necessarily to like, I guess I'm going to use it, of course, but like just to have it as like uh, a showpiece, like just somewhere, it's just a cool like memorabilia, memorabilia piece to have. I already do have a backbone. It's a PS5 one. I, <laughs> I just, I just like the green man, <laughs> but I thought I'd just do an unboxing video, you know, cause like, again, like I said, this is something I would take like if I was to travel. So I will be traveling with this now instead of the old one or maybe not. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, how much I like this one or not. I just, like I guess I just wanted to unbox it. So I actually am recording this as the same day as the last unboxing video. So I still have the rig set up up here. This is, uh, the post Malone case box whatever you want to call it right here uh let's go ahead and just take a look at the box it's green of course because that's i guess post malone's favorite color and it has a digital signature right here and it also has the quantity or not the quantity but the number of that it is so this is 138 of 500 i believe this is like a plastic case it's, it's pretty cool it's like it's a nice little shadow box type case um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's just <laughs> a green sleeve uh, for the case that just comes on and off like that. Uh, there isn't really much to it other than the name and backbone on it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Like I said, this is just a sleeve, so it slides right out. Let me go ahead and grab the other backbone just so I can show you the comparison whenever I actually open it up. I'm not going to lie, this case came very dirty. Like, I... I don't know why it's like all scuffed up it's kind of like it looks like there's a smudge right there but it's like not wiping away i don't know what happened in production but this is not the most appealing you know case just because how dusty and dirty it came like i swear it's like out of box like i it literally took this out of the box and that's how it is let's go ahead and look at the old backbone so i have a case for it obviously because i don't want to get stick drift because that happens with these and i have the white version this is just a regular one ignore the cat hair inside i just i literally cannot get rid of cat hair it's just all over the place let's go ahead and just look at this backbone this is a white it's 100 percent plastic it has you know the regular buttons controls you know, this one's made for the iPhone 15, so it has USB-C, and the Post Malone one is only USB-C as well. So, yeah, uh, if you have an Android, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to get this. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the box. It has the Post Malone logo, or his, you know, initials, PM, and then, like I said, it has the number and the signature. And it looks like it has, like, sliding, yeah, it's a sliding case. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide this open and put that right there. The, the unboxing setup is obviously very limited for me because uh, I don't have much room right here. So just bear with me. This is this is the best I got for what I can, you know, what I have. So you get the basic adapters just like the normal one comes with and as well as the little QR code to get the Backbone app, which costs like $40 a year. That's kind of insane. Like if people are actually paying for that, it's kind of insane. I mean, I get it, but like at the same time, I would not want to be paying $40 a month for it. Right off the box, you can tell it's green. The buttons are a different color. These are all translucent buttons. And they're all plastic. These are, I believe, aluminum. They're cold to the touch, too. Got the nice little PM logo right here, the backbone, like the original has. And then you have the D-pad is also metal. It's cold to the touch as well. It's actually a really nice controller. Like, it looked a little bit different. Not, I wouldn't say a little bit different online, but just kind of like, it just looks more green. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. But if you didn't know, this is actually um, glow in the dark. So... If I was to expose this and turn off all the lights, which I'm not going to do because there's so many, this would be glow in the dark. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. When you open it, it says Post Malone. So it's a very, it's a very nice controller. I'm not going to lie. Like it, it feels the same minus the buttons. The buttons feel a little bit, you know, clickier just because they're metal and not uh, plastic like these. Like these just kind of just feel sticky. Like they just stick in there. And then these just kind of feel, I mean, still sticky on the D-pad, but like the buttons are more. I don't know. It just feels better being metal instead of uh, plastic. And then in here we get play safe. <laughs> don't know what you would need to play safe with. It's basically just an instruction manual of the product. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing crazy. Just just an instruction manual. Here's the comparison of the controllers like side to side. Um, they're pretty much the same thing. As you can tell, I have different adapters on them. Yeah, this isn't probably meant for the regular iPhone 15 and I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, adapters in this one already. But um, yeah, I can go ahead and put this in the phone just so you can see what it looks like in the phone. Um, even though it's not going to be much different. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and grab the phone. I do have the phone showing the recording, so you're going to see a recording. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it in the original. And with the new controllers, you can keep the case on. That's why the adapters are there as well. So the case is on. Now I have it controlled. You know, if I wanted to actually play something, I could. But um, yeah, I really don't want to take it off my camera <laughs> recording app. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this off. 
And then um, I do hate taking this out because it feels kind of sketch just because it's like pulling it out at an angle it feels like. But I know I know this like shifts. Or does it? I thought it shifted. I could have sworn these like, oh, it doesn't move. It's, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's really sketchy to get the phone out of these. And maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but it's always been sketch. And of course, on these, you also get the uh, aux cord. Not a, Yeah, like if you want audio, the aux cord hole. And then you also have the USB-C uh, hole to charge your phone or connect it to an iPad or whatever you want to do. Let's go ahead and take out the adapters and swap them out. These aren't the easiest things to get out and put in. <laughs> just want to be completely honest. Uh, I've done it before. It took a while for me to figure out. Okay, that... I ain't gonna lie, that came out really easy. I could have sworn I struggled a lot more with uh, my other phone, my other one. Maybe it just wasn't in right. <laughs> what does S mean? Wait, S S L. Wait, this is the large one. So this is the right one. So this is the S. So I need to put the S inside. This would be that side. So I need to grab this one. So literally just click it, dude. That was so easy. There's no way. That was so easy. It literally just like magnet. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this one. Might be a little bit more difficult. Probably just user error, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't really know how to take these out that well. Okay, well, maybe I should look at the instructions on the back of this. Uh, swap adapters to fit phone. Basically, I pull from the bottom and pull up. This 100% could be user error. I, I'm, I'm being completely honest. I just, I'm just struggling to get this off. All right, so we got this one off. Let's go ahead and put the small one. Oh, that's the large one. Small one in. It's a lot easier to put them in than take them out, but I guess it's not actually a good, th I mean, a bad thing. But as soon as I plugged it in, this button lit up. I don't really know what it's doing, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go. We got the little backbone app. Oh, I, I didn't pay for this, but did Post Malone give it to me for free? Like, is this, was this what's going on? I was trying to use this one the other day, and it was telling me I couldn't use the app. But uh, yeah, as soon as I plugged it in, the backbone app opened up. I mean, unless I accidentally pressed the button, but I don't think I did. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, you got all the Xbox cloud gaming on here. You have you know, Warzone Mobile, you also have Apple Arcade, and then you have, you know, new apps that they recommend. I might actually check out some Assassin's Creed, because that used to be a fun game on the DS. I haven't played it since the DS, yes, I know, that, that was a long time ago, but yeah, look, Backbone sold out, <laughs> whoops. You got also your, your Steam games, you got your Xbox games, Backbone app, does have a good hub for you to like check out different you know platforms but i mean if you just use those apps uh, standalone you can also get away with it that way so you don't necessarily need the backbone app or need to pay for it it shows that i'm logged in i don't i don't think i paid for it though to be honest i had a free trial because you get a free trial when you get a new device so maybe that's what it's doing but yeah you get some you get like apex and you get diablo it's actually pretty cool might check these out yeah i need more reasons to actually use this thing because i don't really use this one that much anymore just because like the games like on playstation when i would mirror them they would lag a lot so never really had a reason to actually play on the phone but you know if i can find a game that actually runs smoothly i think i'd be more inclined to actually use the device but yeah this looks pretty cool um yeah that's the uh post malone backbone was it worth 200 bucks <sighs> no this was 100 bucks on its own and this i still don't believe should be worth 100 bucks it's just a cool little memorabilia piece to have uh i like post malone's music I, that's all i can really say <laughs> do i think it's worth it no I, I honestly genuinely don't think it's worth 200 bucks but if you have the extra money and you were to be able to get it like i was able to then you know it, it's cool to have when i tried to get it originally the first time the website actually crashed like i was on the website that second as soon as it hit like 59 on my clock i clicked refresh so it, it would you know be there right away and it didn't pop up i was like shit so i just kept trying refresh 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 eventually it popped up clicked it as soon as you click the link, it was like two minutes after it's already dropped. I clicked the link. It said link not available or 404 error. And I was just like, bro, did it sell out? It sold out. So I went to Twitter and I checked Backbone Twitter and they're like, uh, everybody's like, wow, didn't drop, didn't drop. That's kind of messed up. Didn't drop, da, 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 And then it turns out that there was people trying to poach and like buy multiple at a time. Just, you know, resellers and stuff. That was their excuse, at least on Twitter. I don't think that they were prepared for all the demand that they're going to get when they should have been because that's... Uh, Post Malone thing, you only make it 500. There's at least 500 nerds out there like me that would need to try to get something like this. Could I have bought a PlayStation Pro controller? Yes, I, I, I could have had that and had sh uh, paddle shifters and all that on the back of the controller just, you know, to improve my gameplay. But no, I bought a foam backbone for $200. But, you know, money comes and goes. Money grows on trees, right? That was uh, pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison of these two. Not really a comparison, just kind of showing you all the difference in the unboxing of this. Cool little case. I do got to say it's a cool little case to have posted up. Really, I could put this controller in here and you would, really wouldn't tell the difference when I have it up on the shelf. So this cool little storage case I have now, like I said, I don't think it was worth $200, but you know, it is what it is. Hope you 
enjoyed the video. We will be doing a tutorial again eventually. I'll be making more tutorials. I don't know if I'm going to post this video before the 360 Go S vlog video. They'll be up eventually. So this will make three videos that I hopefully have ready to be posted. Like I said on the, you know, the unboxing video, the last unboxing video, I do really appreciate all your support and like getting the views on the videos because like I only have 205 subscribers now because of those videos. I gained like 25 or so because of that, um, uh, that not unboxing video, but the um, travel case video. So that video got me a few subscribers. Obviously I've gained subscribers in the past on my other channel. This is not my first time getting subscribers, but like it feels good to like start a new channel and like grow from, from nothing all over again from a different fan base as well and not being uh, known as somebody that knows this person, this and that. So I do really appreciate that this channel is able to grow to the extent that it has. And even though I haven't been really consistent because of personal things in my life that have been going on, um, I really think that it's going to help motivate me to make more videos just because I know it's not about numbers, but like at the end of the day, it's about numbers. Like it's more encouraging when you see that your videos are doing good to actually want to make more videos, not necessarily for the quantity, but or the quality, but just because like you're doing something and it's kind of like an achievement. When I would see videos with like 25 views, it'd be kind of unmotivating, but again, it's my, it's my fault. Like it's my content. I'm making it uh, how I want and I'm okay with that. But at the same time, it's not as motivating as if it was getting really good views. That's pretty much all I had to say about that. But again, I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial unboxing review, whatever I do. I don't know yet, but yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye.